Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is the Lady Designer, and today we are back with another winter mini zoo episode. And uh, he just bumped his poop right over there. I did not know that animals did that in the game. That's really, really funny. In the previous episode, we did create this cute European badger habitat, and uh, I can only hope. Wait, I did add enrichment items in here, right? Yes, we have a skittle. And we have a dog ball right over here, so that should be good. This one actually has food in it, so if you need any food, just go here. Because here you can't... Wait, shall we just move you? Let's just move you right over here to this particular spot. Are you also hungry? You are also hungry. If you just use this one, you are both good to go. Yes, there you go. Just go and use it. Go and get some food before it gets spoiled. Yes! Okay, you are still hungry? Oh, look at them both playing with the ball now. Oh, that's so adorable! <laughs> I don't see any food coming out of it, though. So I'm not sure how well... Oh, wow, you are eating? And you are also not hungry anymore. Oh, goodness, what do we have now? It's an... A Japanese macaque escaping right in the middle of the habitat just because he can. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Mechanic alert. Staff types cannot be breached, possible due to a work zone setup. Now, I do wonder that might be a rat panda habitat because that is what we're going to add today. Next to the badgers right over here. Now, I hear you think like European badger, but you know what? The European badger is actually also a little bit located in Asia. So that was like, okay, then I feel like fine. Even though, let's see if we see the uh, rat panda right over here. Rat panda is from a different part from Asia, but I don't really mind that. So we're going to have a nice habitat right over here. Probably a little bit inspired of the new rat panda habitat that they have in a Blydor Brother Dam Zoo, my most favorite zoo, because <laughs> you did not know yet. We are also going to work on the little ice skating rink right over here. So yeah, we have lots of really fun stuff to do during this episode. Multiple staff problems. Oh, wait, how do I figure out what kind of problems you have? Oh, oh, good point. Okay, the educators have a really high workload. Well, we can train them, but I also feel like I just want to add maybe two more educators in here. Our money is doing pretty well, so I feel like we can do that. So I'm going to put you guys in the everything work roster. As soon as we can, we should definitely be training you guys. We have a mechanic that is not full of energy and you know what i think you could use some help in here so i'm going to add another mechanic in here and i'm gonna add you in the everything work roster here as well so that should be good i uh i oh cannot find an accessible staff room are all these staff rooms full well we actually only have this area we actually also have another staff room right over here is that one not connected in the everything work roster then? Is it not? Yes, it, it should be. It should be. I'm going to add the rat panda habitat in here as well. Isn't there also like a staff room right over here? So what are you complaining about? Are you still standing right over here just in your moor leopard waiting that someone... You are here. You are just stuck. I tell you... You are just stuck, but I can move you, which is good. I actually did not see that one coming. I'm just going to put you right here in front of this staff room. And you are going to rest. Okay, perfect. And maybe if you're done, maybe you can fix this, this, this water treatment. Oh, there is another one. But that is just amazing. Let's quickly check the rest of our staff then. Just to see, I, I don't really feel like we should hire another vet. I don't think that is really necessary. Do we need a security card? Actually, it doesn't really look like it. We might, you could, we, could, we could maybe use some more caretakers. No, actually, I don't think so. 
you are having a high workload. We can actually train our vendors in here, all the people that do need some more training in here. And you know what? We're also going to train our caretakers because that is going to help us no matter what. Also the security guard mechanic right over here. So I do feel like maybe we can now also train our staff uh, or our keepers and the educators right over here. Yes. Okay. Let's just do this and just keep it like this because else we will be spending way too much money. Our marketing is doing well. We have two different things for marketing. We have five stars for marketing. So that is just perfect. The animal rating could be higher, but we don't have that many animals in here. So I'm not so surprised about that. Guest education. Is there anything we can do about that just now? Like right away? Research rating. Oh, yeah. That's right, we are doing vet research. If we would have a vet doing advanced research, that would also give us a little bonus. Um, maybe, like, we already have four animal talks. We do not have any conservation signs, but our educators are doing talks for, uh, for conservation, so I think that should be good. Education bonus, we could have a little bit more for the Amur Leopard. And the Japanese macaque. We have audio guy. Whoa, that's a lot. Why do you only have like one little hat? And the butcher only hat. Oh, oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, we cannot really check this map. But this one only has like audio guides. And why do you not have that? That's so odd. I don't know what that is, guys. I don't dare to say. Staff room perks, do we have, let's make another staff health care. And the last thing I wanted to check right now is the crime. Well, crime is doing really well. The zoo view feels pretty small. Uh -huh. I know, I know, we're working on that. Uh, Sweet Fox coffee looks busy. I need a toilet. Um, other than that, I am okay with paying that. I'm not too worried about this, to be honest. Well, we could... Work on the Thursday. Well, actually, we are going to add this ice skating ring right over here. So we are going to add like these these little market stalls here. What are you guys all doing here? Uh, let me just uh, let you go right over here because I feel like maybe you guys could need some help. There we go. You guys are all reset right now. We actually do not even have education here on the side. Only indoors did i actually put them back no i made a screenshot and then i removed the educational signs right over here so i need to put them back <laughs> but that's all right we are going to uh, work on this red panda habitat right over here so i think we are good and we're going to like decorate everything on the inside right over here i actually oh wait why are you boxed unbox all the animals oh we have some vet research complete <gasps> A striped skunk is dying from old age and we did not have any offspring of these skunks? Oh no! Ugh. <laughs> did you see that? Oh, that was so sad. <laughs> but I'm laughing but it's so sad. Like, you can't laugh about that. Okay, call that. What is going on here with the skunks? You know, I actually just feel like I want to replace the skunks and see if that is going to help us to get... Yeah, well, I will die as well from this food. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm just going to put you... I can release you in the wild. It's not much. But let's just go and get some new skunks. Oh, that's right. That's what I wanted to say. I bought the most expensive red panda ever, like... For real, I don't know why, but it's just terrible. But now we are going to have 60. You are really good rated. And okay, let's just get this one. Okay, so we have a silver and a golden status skunk. Oh gosh, did I get you? Yes, okay. Let's send you guys to the zoo. Hopefully you are going to get some offspring in here. So we have uh, this rat panda. I clicked it. I bought it for 5,000. I don't know if you can see it right over here. No, for some reason it's not appearing here. Only this one, the female. But the other one was 5,000. And I was like, no, what did I do? But yeah, we have a very expensive rat panda. So it better 
give us some really good offspring so we could earn a little bit back in here. <gasps> you, wait, did you, what, what, oh, we are getting some offspring here of the badger. Oh, I would love to see these little ones. Show us. Give them to us. You are not going into your burrow, are you? Could be. Wasn't the burrow also meant to be for, for getting offspring? I actually have never seen that. Let's just speed it up. You are going into your burrow. So if we just wait now with this camera. Oh, look, we are actually entering the burrow. Well, that's going to be cool to see if they actually got the offspring inside of the burrow then. Oh, we couldn't. Oh, no, they, they are bugged. But I was thinking like maybe we could just add like these these webcams in here. Oh, look at that. These webcams in the building, but they they make sure that your your trees and grass and stuff is are, are flickering like this. This really weird. Oh, my goodness. There are three. <laughs> wow. So, uh, no, yeah, well, it's a nice idea. Four? Oh my goodness, we have four. That's amazing. But yeah, it's a nice idea to have some webcams on the billboards, but it just makes your whole game look super odd. And I think it's, it's already the second time that I uh, reported this to Frontier, but so far, no luck with fixing that, unfortunately. So, like, all the grass would then be, like, really weird flickering. It's super odd. But you guys, oh gosh, is, do we have enough space? It's all right, it's all right, it's orange. Oh, look. Hello, welcome to the world. Oh, that's so adorable how they just came out of that burrow being like, oh, sniff, sniff. What is this? Oh, this is cute. I love this. Okay, well, we don't have any issues with the burrows. We have some females in here. What do we have? Oh, look, there's another one. Welcome to the world to you as well. So this is a male. Oh, and then this one is another male. So two males and two females. That's amazing. But yeah, okay, the space is an issue, but I'm actually happy. Oh, look at them all. Happy that we, we made this a lot bigger in the end. Oh, they're all coming out one by one. It's so adorable. Oh, absolutely love this. But we do need to make sure... Okay, the dot ball is right over here. I don't know. Well, there's also a Skittle. So do we want to add just another ball here? Just to be sure that they all have enough food. I mean, just look at them all. Oh, it's so busy and crowded in here. Oh, I love this. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> don't eat that. Don't eat that. <laughs> do not eat that. Reset. Oh, no. That's not going to help. We need to call our keeper quickly in here to make sure you get some new food. But uh, yeah, okay. Oh gosh, okay. We have our coons inbreeding. Do not do that. Don't do that. Don't do that, Tristan. Do not do that. <laughs> Hopefully we were on time. I really hope so. I think so. I think we did. But uh, yeah, okay. Let's go and start building this red panda habitat and this ice caning rink right over here because I feel like it's Christmas coming up this weekend that an ice caning rink would be a really nice little thing to get into a little Christmas mood right now on the channel. So yeah, without further talking, let's go and start building.
if you did watch the speed build of this video, you did see that it was snowing and I was like, oh my goodness, it's finally snowing and it's just the perfect timing for this episode. Right. All the snow is gone already. Oh, I, I really, really wish I could turn it on right now. But it is what it is, I guess. It's trenches mode, so we cannot change the weather. Uh, we have a Japanese macaque having some offspring. Um, so yeah, I was actually pretty much building everything while it snowed. So it was so hard to see sometimes. <laughs> like these kind of things I did not see. So I need to make this look a little bit better, I guess. But this is the ice skating rink and this one is made with like a billboard. I feel like maybe I need to make it a little bit less bright. Although with the snow, it just looked perfect. But now, uh, yeah, it is a little bit bright in my opinion. But this is like just, just an, an ice ice texture or something like that that I got from Google. I will uh, make sure to put it in my Discord server as well so you can download all the billboards that I am using. Oh goodness, okay, Raccoon is having offspring. So yeah, okay, ice skating ring. I actually feel like Frontier really needs to add some more festive stuff because, oh boy, are these things, you mangas, like most of the things that you can find here are ridiculously big. Like why? Why would I want these, these, these big things? Like this is the only decent size of like a star. Everything is just too big. I don't know. It's uh, like the presents are all right. It's, it's not like a really bad size, but pfft. like, yeah. I really wish there were some more smaller things in here because most of the things, like, like for example, this one, like, it's just way too big to put it on my walls or anything like that. This one is, is cute, by the way. But we have these uh, Christmas trees right over here from the nature tab. And, uh, yeah, so, and the same goes, by the way, for, for like, these things that came with the um, Europe pack for making, like, these little market stalls. Like, they're just you mangas. And I was like, no, I'm not going to work with that. I'm going to create my own market stalls instead. It's freaking busy here. Like, these guests are all standing <laughs> to each other, but I just really wanted to avoid having this to be too big because, like, if I think of like a little Christmas market, it is all pretty tiny and narrow. So yeah, it is what it is, I guess. These guests have to live with these busy, uh, busy paths right over here. There are some picnic benches right over here just to make sure that these guests are able to also sit down and eat some food. And then right over here is sticking out the rock formation that is inspired of Rotterdam Zoo Blyderp of the um, Rat Panda Habitat. Now with, with the Rat Panda Habitat, this is definitely not recreation, just like, like a bit inspired of. So, oh look, 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 oh this is pretty cool that they are able to use this. So with the original habitat, there there is actually like this, this monumental shelter building inside of the rocks like they are not allowed to to demolish that one or something like that so they have to keep it and like what they did is like with a lot of beams and stuff they created like this mountain around the shelter but yeah well the rocks in this game are just way too big to work with that or to create something like that Everything that I did in this habitat, apart from the rock formations, was also placed down when it was snowing. So yeah, everything looks so different for me as well. Oh shoot, I actually need to change the the walls maybe a little bit. They are like really copy pasted right now, but it does work. So I, I don't really mind it too much. Also, I'm happy that like sometimes I wish these trees were climbable, but I am really happy with these naughty red pandas that they're not able to climb it because <laughs> I would not be able to use them that often. So they would be escaping a lot. They are able to, to climb into most of these trees and stuff. Are you actually now walking over that log that I did not know you could do that? Oh, it actually created like this walkable path. Oh, but it doesn't do it right over here. Oh, that's confusing. Why do you do that with one tree? 
and not with the other. There's like one little spot right over here. Like they are able to walk over this edge, but as long as they're not able to escape, I am good with that. I don't think they will be using it super often. There is like this, I don't know what it is with these black colors right over here, but there is like um, this enrichment item right over here that they are able to reach as well. So if they are going to climb up on this mountain, there is actually also a reason to do that. So uh, obviously they also have like this little indoor area. We have a little Christmas box on this side. They have quite some space here, actually. That's not really not bad how much space they have. So if we go inside, we have this viewing gallery inside of their habitat. They have a feeding plate right over here because also just like with the badgers, the keeper is not able to walk outside. So I need to make sure that they get fed inside of their habitat in this indoor area. But these cuties, gosh, it's been so long since I've made a habitat for them. They're so pretty and so fluffy. Like you really want to cuddle these guys. <laughs> so yeah, this is pretty much their shelter building. They have a little, um, little cabin here. I actually don't even know. Oh, they are able to lay down in here. Wait, let's just put down some hay bedding so this is the smallest one this one should really pretty much fit it's going to stick out a little bit okay wait the gas will not see it so i'm just going to make it stick out on the back side then a little bit more Ooh, okay we don't we're not gonna look at it but hopefully this is going to attract them to go and lay down in here because that will be cool as well so that they would be able to use all these climbing frames to to get on top of there but I really wanted to give this like more of a lush tropical vibe. And then on the outside, it's more of like the, the Himalayan mountain or something like that. So yeah, giving it two different areas for the red panda. And uh, yeah, I think it, it actually looks quite good. So the only thing that we need to do is like maybe just detail this habitat or like this indoor area a little bit more. And I need to add the edge back next to the signs right over here. A Japanese macaque is about to get offspring. You're sleeping. Oh man, the rain. Oh, how much I wish it was snowing again. That would be just super amazing. Actually, talking about snow, I should put down some coolers right over here so we can put back some snow again in this habitat. So if I just put you right over did i didn't i already put down coolers in the ground i think i did so all i need to do is just add a little bit of snow but it it's not the same as the snow that you see with the um when it snows because then like all the all the trees and all the bushes become white and it's all so beautiful but yeah, we are, are doing like this, this winter theme too. So having a little bit of snow in here actually would make sense. I'm not sure if I should add a little bit of like, um, like some white rocks onto here. I, I don't really feel like they look too realistic to, to represent like snow patches. So I'm not really sure. I, I don't really think that I should do that. Just having a little bit of this, this this snow here and there definitely works to give a little bit of that more snowy vibe to it but hope well with the end tour i'm going to do it in sandbox mode and make sure that it will snow i guess or that at least it, it did snow for a little bit so to show you guys how beautiful this all looks when it uh, when it has snowed right over here we have Bernie's Bakes. I don't really know why this one is, is closed. Uh, oh, wait. Okay, well, I guess all these staff members are already tired, so they, they are taking a break. They are now connected to this section right over here. I feel like that is, is the most nearby, but wait, where is that? Okay, that's right over here, but that is probably going to change a little bit later on. And we have, like, two of the uh, Street Fox coffees because, wow, it is pretty cold. So most of the time the guests just would need a little hot drink to enjoy. 
So more Japanese bakak. Oh, yes. Oh, that's all right. Let me just change the ticket price right over here. Where is it? Oh, overview. Okay, here. 16 and 15. You know, I did need to get like these loans. I started with I think the 20k, then I got the 5k, then I got the 50k, so then I repaid these two again. But yeah, we definitely need to change or repay this loan as soon as possible. There is a lot to re repay still here, but I really just wanted to finish this area off with the uh, cute little ice skating rink and stuff. So uh, it definitely does look really nice right over here now. And yeah, I'm really happy that I already did finish this area. So now all we need to do... Oh gosh, it's hard to see with all the, the rain in the sky. We need to add like one, two, two habitats most likely. And then maybe one more like Christmas restaurant or something. Something in that range could definitely work. Just have a little bit more festive stuff around here to uh, finish off this uh, little Christmas Winter Zoo series that we are doing right now. But yeah, oh man, I'm really happy with these cuties in here. It's definitely been a long time since we had the rad panda. Yeah, I need to pay attention to rad. Rad. Yes, if you hear rat, <laughs> it's just hard like in the Netherlands. The D and the T are used very frequently at the end of a word, but they both sound as a T. And like with in English, the the red, the, it's it's just pretty difficult. And in, in, uh, for me as a Dutch person to to say red <laughs> instead of rat. <laughs> so apologies for all the times that you will hear me say rat panda. <laughs> But do let me know in the comments down below what you guys all think of this new habitat, including the ice skating rink and the little Christmas market stalls. And of course, because it is almost Christmas, I am wishing you all a very, very Merry Christmas. I really do hope you guys are able to enjoy it with your friends, family or loved ones. Definitely wishing you some really great days. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course if you haven't already and yeah i just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys